Hello guys and gals and welcome. So today is going to be a rather quick video. All I want to do is I want to talk about sockets and socketing equipment. Um, especially socketing equipment for rune words, but we're not going to talk about the rune words themselves really. Just, just socketing, alright? So you have an item um, and you want to add sockets to it, right? How do you go about doing this? How do you go about socketing an item? Perhaps you have a monarch shield. Or perhaps you have a uh, superior breastplate or, or great hauberk or whatever it is that you've got running. Uh, perhaps you are running, you know, something that you would like to have. One, two, three, four, five, or maybe even six sockets in. And, uh, and you want to know how about getting those sockets. All right. Well, the first thing that you need to know um, is that uh, some items in the game have limited number of sockets because they're found in low-level zones. Um, those items will never get their maximum number of sockets, and you need to be aware of that because uh, if you find something in normal difficulty, for instance, um, there's a very good chance that it has a limited number of sockets. Um, in general, uh, the, the rule that I like to use is normal difficulty is 3, nightmare difficulty is 4, and hell difficulty is 6, and there are definitely exceptions to this rule. Uh, however, uh, I generally like to get my items if I want four sockets from Nightmare, and if I want six sockets, I like to get them from Hell. Um, it's just a it's just a way that I am able to 100% confirm that I will get the number of sockets that I want, as opposed to socketing the item and then coming out with not enough. Um, now, for instance, this is a uh, superior great hauberk, and there are several recipes that you can use in the Harajar Cube that will roll your sockets but keep in mind that when you're rolling sockets um you cannot roll superior items all right so the recipe for rolling a armor is a towel a thull and a perfect topaz and uh, if i take the towel the towel, thull and the perfect topaz and i put them in here with the armor um, it will not work because the armor is superior um, unfortunately any armor that is a superior armor cannot be rolled in the cube. And what that means is, is that the only way to socket a superior armor is by the Larzic quest. So the Larzic quest is uh, the Act 5 quest. And, uh, and it, do that it is once per character per act. So, I mean, per, per difficulty setting. So you get three, basically, uh, th free socket quests. Now, I don't normally like to use socket quests on white items, and there's a reason why. Uh, and it's because, well, you can't use socket quests um, on a lot of things except for the white items. So white items can be rolled in the cube, and unique items like a Harlequin Shaco cannot. Um, so if I want to add a socket to my Shaco, or if I want to add a shot socket to my Sculptor's Ire, or if I want to add a socket to my homunculus, I can't do that with the Harajar cube recipes. I have to do that through Larzic. So I usually like to save my Larzic quests specifically for socketing those items like a Skulder's Iron or a Shaco or a homunculus or a Tome of uh, a Tome Wand, the Armor King, and work. Um, things like that that I cannot socket through the through the Harajar cube. Um, basically what you do is, is you just walk up to Larzik and he will have the add socket quest here. And then you take your item and you put it on his little pedestal and hit the button and it will come out with a socket. Um, very simply put, there's just really nothing else to it. Now for superior items, they will only ever get the maximum number of sockets that they are capable of. So if I socket this at Larzik, I will get four sockets. Uh, because a superior grade hauberk is capable of four sockets. And that is going to get me um, several recipes. One in particular that people love to make in this is a fort. Uh, fortitude is a decent recipe for a, uh, an armor like this. Um, the damage, the defense on this isn't bad uh, with 562. I think that's actually pretty high for the uh, superior grade hauberk. But uh, it could be a little bit higher, of course, because it's only 12% enhanced instead of 15. And... Um, we also have things like the Monarch Shield here. Now, there are certain shields that do not get four sockets. And um, and those shields will only ever be three sockets or two sockets. The Monarch Shield is one of the few Hell Shields that is a four-socket shield. 
um, and it is the lowest strength requirement for socket shield, which is why people like to uh, to use it specifically for a spirit. Uh, a spirit is a very nice reward for um, for caster types. Um, I don't have a spirit on me at this particular moment. I don't think um, no, but uh, but it's a very nice shield. And if we happen to roll four sockets in this, we'll make a spirit. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to roll this. Um, I don't like to use my socket quests on monarchs because they're they're fairly common, and um, and the the runes and gem to roll the sockets in them is also fairly common. Now, when you roll the sockets, what that means is is that you don't know exactly how many sockets you're going to get. If I throw this in Larzic, I know it's going to be four. If I roll the sockets, I don't know if it's going to be four. I, it could be one, it could be two, and it could be three, and it could also be four. Um, and we're going to see what we find and uh, what we get. Actually, I think I got the... Uh, hold on. There's a shield recipe, too. So each recipe is different. Um, the shield, the armor... The uh, the weapon and the helmet are all different. Uh, shield is Tal Am and a perfect ruby, which I have pre-prepared. Tal Am, perfect ruby. All right, so we've got our Tal rune, our Am rune, and our perfect ruby, and. Uh, so we ended up with one socket. Absolutely terrible. So that's a failure. Um, absolutely nothing you can do with one socket, Marnark. <laughs> it's it's, uh, it's, uh, it's useless. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to sell that to NPC. Um, now, if it had rolled two sockets, I could have made a Rhyme Shield, which is a fairly nice uh, Magic Find Shield. Um, if you happen to be one of those sorceresses that loves to Magic Find, it's a great Magic Find Shield with... Uh, uh, Really nice, faster block, increased chance of blocking, regenerate mana, all resistance is 25, cannot be frozen, and 25% magic find. It's absolutely great for, for magic finding specifically. Um, you could have also made a Splendor, which is uh, right here. And uh, and then you could have also made... Uh, let's see, I actually have a Rhyme Shield right there. That's an Akai Shield for a low-level character. Um, if it was three sockets, you could have made a Coco Mal. Um, Coco Mal is a, uh, a pretty decent uh, shield. It's, it's a sanctuary. I have a, uh, a Coco Mal sitting on uh, my jouster. That's a uh, Coco Mal Sanctuary uh, 70 All Resistance Shield. It's very nice, uh, very nice for defensive purposes. And if you put it in a Paladin Shield, you're going to end up with 115 resistances if you roll 70, which is pretty ridiculous. Now um, there are other recipes, of course. Um, there is a recipe for each individual type of uh, of item, and uh, and I pre-prepared all of those in advance. Um, the one that I just used, of course, was Tal Am and Perfect Ruby, and that is the one to uh, socket shields. Um, there is also a recipe to socket armors, which is the uh, the the first one that I showed you. Um, that is the uh, the Tal Rune, the Thul Rune, and the Perfect Topaz. Um, and then, of course, we have the uh, Ral, Thul, and Sapphire, which is the helmet. Uh, not a lot of use for this one. Uh, it's usually not that hard to find yourself a nice socketed helmet, but uh, but if you were in some situation where maybe you found like a ethereal, like a perfect ethereal item or something, or maybe you found like the perfect um, druid helmet with like the right plus to skills and everything, maybe that's uh, a point where you would socket it, maybe try and get yourself a dream, but um, or a delirium or something of that nature. But in that case, you'd probably just use a saw larger quest on it because it's pretty rare. Trust me when I say that when you find the perfect helmet with the perfect plus to skills, they're usually pretty rare. Um, and in those cases, I would definitely say use Osaka Quest on them. Um, see that the Monarch Shields are not really rare, and that's why I'd, I won't use Osaka Quest on them. But a perfect Druid helmet with the right plus to skills is definitely worth it. Like uh, this this uh, head that I found earlier, which was plus to revive, plus three summon resist, and plus two to crepify, was absolutely excellent for a Splendor, and that's why I went ahead and... and uh, and it got that. But it actually spawned with two uh, sockets. If it had not spawned with two sockets, I would have Larzicked it. Because I wouldn't have taken the chance of uh, losing an amazing uh, Necromancer head like this. And um, last but not least is uh, is the weapon sockets. 
And uh, the weapon sockets is RAL, AM, and Perfect Am Assist. So RAL, AM, Perfect Am Assist. Um, those are the ones to roll sockets, and of course, like I said, you can fail. Um, and that is uh, unfortunately a side effect of rolling the sockets, but it's, it's extremely cheap to roll the sockets. And I don't think a lot of people are, uh, are too worried about it. And if you're in a situation specifically where you know you can get the right number of sockets, um, like for instance, the Colossus Volge is a four socket pole arm and uh, people love to use it for insight. So specifically, they will use their Larza quest for the ethereal Colossus Volge because they know that it's going to roll into a four socket item. Um, and those are some of the situations where you're going to want to use your Larza quest because uh, finding an ethereal Colossus Volge is not that easy. Uh, finding a Monarch Shield is, is ridiculously easy. I've probably found like 15 of them since launch and handed them out to anyone who wanted one. I've also used several myself. I've rolled them. I've rolled four sockets. I've rolled two sockets. I've rolled three sockets. And uh, and when I roll two sockets, I make a Rhyme Shield. And when I rolled three sockets, I made a, um, I made a, a Sanctuary. Uh, really it really is not a big deal. I mean, you kind of just go with the flow on those. But... Um, that's pretty much the gist of it. Um, you can socket items with Larzic. You can socket items with the uh, Roderick Cube recipes. And of course, you can find the items with the correct number of sockets. You cannot add sockets to an item that already has sockets in it. So if you have an item and the item has two sockets, you're not going to be able to add another one to get to three. Um, I have had some people ask me that before. And... Um, Unfortunately, unique items cannot have more than one socket unless they are specifically spawned with those extra sockets. So the Blade of Alibaba, for instance, spawns with two sockets, and that's what makes it uh, so good for Magic Find. The um, uniques themselves, though, uh, they don't spawn with two sockets or more than one socket pretty much ever unless they're specifically made that way. Like the Crown of Ages can spawn with two sockets. Um, the Skulder's Ire does not spawn with the sockets. I socketed that with the Larzic Quest. Shaco does not spawn with the socket. I socketed that with the Larzic Quest. Um, and this is this is important because you know these particular items are absolutely great once you uh, once you socket them and make them a, just a tiny itty bitty bit better um, with you know a, a topaz or an Istrune or whatever it is that you want to plop in there. Like, for instance, with the Arm of King Leoric, I put an All Resistances 14 jewel. Um, with the Homunculus, I threw a diamond in there for the resistances. And um, and these can be extremely helpful to you for, you know, obviously for resistances or uh, for magic find or whatever it is that you specifically need. And then on top of that, um, you know, you also have the ability to try and get those special rune word bases that you need. And I have made a video just recently all about rune word bases. That will probably be up uh, after this one because this one is much shorter. <laughs> anyway, uh, if you have any questions about socketing items, I will be glad to answer them. And uh, as always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos. And uh, see ya.